Hey guys, so right now I just picked up my camera from the Jimmy Oliver's cooking school because my dumb ass forgot it <laughs> at the school. I was freaking out. I thought I lost it. Anyways, I just called an Uber and these streets on London honestly really trip me out. Everything's the opposite of what it is in Canada and I'm guess guessing America too, right? I don't know if this happens to you, but this happens to me often when Ubers that are like 15, 10 minutes away accept the ride share. <laughs> like why? <laughs> I guess I must be the only one around. Anyways, my name is Veronica Wang and I typically do food videos on my main channel. I'm in London right now. I decided that I was going to go and visit the H Mart here in London to see if there's any difference from the one in Canada. I'm assuming there has to be something different, something that I can't get in Canada that I can get here. So fingers crossed. I can't believe, is this guy going in circles? I'm waiting right now and it is super annoying. <laughs> Yeah? Oh, hi. oh my god, do you guys watch my videos? Are you serious? That's actually crazy. Okay, wait, you guys want to be on camera? I'm okay. Guys, look, they watch my videos. I honestly never thought that anyone would recognize me in London at all. That was such a surprise. Those kids were so cute. And this is why I don't want to be swearing anymore on my channel the thing is is like as you when you become an adult you realize that like you can swear it's all good to swear there's just like a time and a place for it you know what i mean i don't know what do you think guys do you think i shouldn't be swearing at all i think that to an extent it's like whatever it's just you know i feel like the whole point of swearing is to be like is to like curse at someone to hurt someone but if you're kind of just like cursing in general not cursing at someone I, I feel like it's fine you know i feel like if i had a child and my little one was like fucking hell and she just happened to have a British accent. Even in my day-to-day -day life, like I don't, like I feel like I used to be, I used to have moments with like a significant other or with like a family member where I would get really heated and I would start cursing, but I feel like I, I just don't do that anymore. I don't let myself get that upset to act that way. I have in the past, but I don't know, like things have just changed. I'm happy that they changed for the better. So if my little shit when I have one <laughs> wants to say fucking hell or bloody fuck, then as long as she's not saying it to someone, she's just like kind of... <laughs> Imagine my kids like in school, like I get like a teacher's note one day from my kid. It's like, your daughter can't stop swearing in class. And the only thing I ask is, well, is she swearing at someone? Okay, I'm gonna put you guys away because I don't want to scare my Uber. BRB. Right now I'm waiting for my Uber and some guy in his car rolls down his window and he looks at me, he's like, do you have a husband? I was like, no, I don't have a husband. He's like, all right, get in the car then. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm not getting in your car, sir. Okay, I'm in the Uber. And this guy came up to me. It was actually really funny. This guy rolls down his window and he's like, he's like, hey there. And I was like, hello. He's like, do you have a husband? I was like, what? Do, uh, what? He's like, do you have a husband? I'm like, no, I don't. Wait, was that his whole point of saying that? Do you have a husband to be like, is to be like a little bit more, wait a second. Ooh, is that some manipulation happening right there? Okay, so I just got to where the H Mart is supposed to be. I don't see that, but I see this place here. We'll go in here, right? Might as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I am seeing different brands. Like I've never seen this brand before. It looks good, eh? Yum. Oh, I've never seen this either. Okay, yeah. Okay, yay, I'm excited. Could they pack this any tighter? Look, it's in a box. I've never seen Topoki. I might just get it just because it's in a box. I know that is so ridiculous. It's in a box. Okay, obviously little things like that really excite me. <laughs> That's cute. I actually really like that. Oh, ramen wall. The ramen wall. So it seems like a typical... Some young noodles, nothing different. Oh, I've never seen that. Oh, wait, have I seen that before? Thank you. Awesome. Noodle. If there's an anime, there's some type of anime or cartoon on a packaging, they have a higher chance of me purchasing it. Ooh. Oh, seaweed. Oh my god. They have this seaweed here. That's actually awesome. So you guys know that these are like, I call them the mascots of Korea. So what I'm saying, if I was a card, I'm a sucker. Marketing always gets me. Okay. Let's see what else they have here. Oh, there's that's chicken bouillon I've never seen before. 
Let's see her. <laughs> Why does she look like that? Why is she dressed as a maid? Why is she a hot maid? Why is this chicken a hot maid? Oh my god, I'm so confused. Okay, sorry, I just got a cart. I'm gonna put everything in there. I love like seeing new drinks. Look at all these drinks. So I've actually had this one before. I, okay, honestly, I'm getting this. I love apple juice and it's sparkling. Oh, look at this. Cocoa palm peach? Koreans love peach, we all know this. I'm getting this, this is cute. Okay, oh, damn it, sucker. I'm a sucker. Okay, wait, woo, okay, okay. Lychee flavored. We're getting the lychee flavored, are you kidding me? But anyways, yeah, marketing, <laughs> I'm getting that. Oh my God, why am I such a sucker? Oh, this one says strawberry milk. Damn it. Okay, honestly, I know this is so ridiculous, but I'm getting it because it's in a box. People are probably staring at me like this bitch is crazy. God damn it, I'm such a sucker. Okay, I'm leaving tomorrow. I honestly don't know how I'm gonna eat all of this. Oh, Mr. Kimchi. I actually really wanna try this. Isn't this cute? Look at it. <laughs> Why is it in a jar like that? It's like a plastic jar. That kind of defeats the purpose of a jar. <gasps> There's so many things, so little time. Okay, I'm gonna get the Mr. Kimchi and then that's it. Oh, I've never seen this one before. Oh, god damn. Okay, I'm gonna get a big one of these and bring them back with me. Oh my god, yes. Okay, I'm bringing this back with me. I've never seen it before. Mm -hmm. Love spending money on ramen. I actually do love spending money on ramen. I have a huge ramen wall. This is a massive peeler. Okay, peeling daikon radish. I swear to God, they made this for daikon radish. Okay, I'm getting this. I love having bowls or just um, kitchen equipment from other countries. It really like, it feeds a part of my soul, you know? <laughs> Ooh, wait. Ooh, this, this area would be good for a picture. Oh, okay, wait, wait. Cause that's literally, like, let's be honest guys, that's literally my, that's literally my actual expression this entire time. Oh, these pearls are cool. Okay, I'm gonna buy these cause I've never seen these in Toronto. Make your own seaweed. Whoa, okay, bringing this back with me. I got three of them. Oh my gosh, should I get a sock? Okay, why are there random socks there? It's just like food, 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 sock. Food, 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 food. Okay, I think I got enough. Oh, the original cup noodles. Do I have, we have this in Canada? I feel like we don't have these ones in Canada. Okay, I feel like this is something that the UK only has because I haven't seen this anywhere, right? It looks like one of those generic brands. You know what I mean? That each country or like supermarket has in each country, city, village. Okay, honestly, oh, I'm getting it. Damn it, sucker. Such a sucker. Okay, I'm not looking anymore. Nope, my eyes are closed. <laughs> no, 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 close my eyes. I can't look at anything. <gasps> oh, they have different flavored soju. Damn it. Oh, God damn it. I'm gonna have to get a soju. I didn't see different flavored soju though in the Korean markets in Toronto. Wait, have I? Wait, oh, do we have these in Toronto? And I, I, we might actually have these in Toronto. I'm tripping out. I think we do. Well, what if we don't? Okay, I'm gonna get them. Damn it. Oh my god, Ch Kit Kat chestnut. Why does it have to be in such a big bag? Look at this Kit Kat chestnut. Okay, I'm gonna bring this back actually for family. And then I'm gonna make them give me one. Sweet potato? Oh god damn it. Okay. Getting it. <laughs> I'm getting this for family and I'm gonna make someone give me one. I'm not gonna eat it all. <laughs> wow, that's kind of selfish, eh? Like, I'm getting this for you so you can give me one. Okay, I'm gonna get two. I love how I just doubled my cost because I realized I was being selfish. Oh my god. Literally half the stuff I got is because I, li I think that they're cute. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, I will get back to you guys after I purchase this. Okay, so 
successful. Sorry, it's like dark out now. In, in the radius that I looked at, this was the only H Mart um, like Korean kind of grocery that was closed. I feel like if there's a Korean grocery around there, there has to be some type of Korean place to eat. But I'm also just realizing now that I'm definitely not going somewhere to eat because I have way too much food. I'm literally leaving to <gasps> morning. It really says H Mart family right there. I'm actually slow. I am actually slow. <laughs> That's like, if you don't know that already. <laughs> Anyways. Um, okay, so I decided I'm gonna go to Oxford Street. I was gonna go straight home, but I figured, you know, I'm already out now, whatever, I'll just carry the bags. They're gonna be kind of annoying, but whatever, it's fine. Okay, so I made it to Oxford Street. Apparently, this is like one of the more busy areas in London. There's lots of stores, there's lots of shopping. Apparently, it's a really nice area too. And also, apparently, because I spoke to my Uber driver, there is a, what is it called? Apparently, like down the street, there's a Chinatown, which is super Hi. exciting. Hello. <laughs> But anyways, okay, so this is the thing guys. This is I just want to make something very clear before I make the statement I'm about to make because I don't want people being like, oh, don't you have a boyfriend? Like, shouldn't you not be saying stuff like that? But this is the thing guys, we're all human. Okay, and just because we're with someone, it doesn't mean that we're not still gonna be attracted to other people, right? It's what you do with that attraction. You have the option to either pursue it or to realize that you're dating someone and just realize that it's just an attraction and that you're human and it's going to happen whether you're in a relationship or not because the universe doesn't care whether or not you're in a, it has no knowledge of that information, right? So it's gonna happen, all right? So it's what you do with that information. And with that being said, a guy came up to me and he started talking to me in a British accent and it was hot, okay? I did not obtain any phone numbers. I did not carry on the conversation. Well, I at least, I, God damn it, these bags are freaking heavy. Okay, sorry, give me a second. I did not carry, like, entertain the conversation. I just ended it where it was, but I'm just saying that I might actually have a thing for English accents. Wait, actually, no, I definitely have a thing for English accents because I love UK rap. Gets the old, old girls working down there. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just saying, okay? You get it, people? We're allowed to have, we're allowed to be humans. Anyways, I found this really cute sushi spot. What the hell is this? Oh my God, this is amazing. What do I do with all this information right now that I have? I'm, I'm so, oh my god, can I just get like one? Okay, I'm just getting, I'm gonna get one. <laughs> okay, sorry, oh, sorry. Give me a second. So I'm gonna try this little thing. It's probably, it's, I hope it's good. I mean, it's better. Whether it's good or not is like irrelevant. The point is that it's in a little plastic bag. That's the point. Which is probably, I mean, really, are we gonna get into the environment right now? We're not, we're not doing that. Because literally everything is in something awesome. Okay. <laughs> and it's not a straw, so don't come for me. Internet. Okay, it re that, that really needed soy sauce. But now I can say I ate a piece of sushi from a little plastic bag. So I'm happy. Oh, wow. All right. We continue the exploration of Oxford Street in London. All right, so it's actually going really well right now. I need to go to Chinatown. That's where I need to go to. The minute that guy told me that there's a Chinatown, ew, this place looks really popular. It's called Prem. Mm. I wonder what's so popular about it. Is that normal or is that just well, that place? Like, 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 like usually they've stopped doing all this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I am back. So someone grabbed my butt and ran away when I was, anyways, yeah, so, oh yeah, so I have to update you. Right, let me update you guys, sorry. Here's everything. I feel like, okay, so I'm gonna eat, I feel like I'm gonna eat this tonight. I bought, okay, so I ended up feeling bad that I was, I was kind of like, it's like so selfish. Like I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy it so that for someone so that they can. I was like, that's really selfish. And then thinking of that, I was just like, wow. Am I even thinking about other people? Like I actually should be buying everyone. But it, that happens, right? It's it's important that you just catch yourself, you know, because we're human. You know, our like 
our entire existence, you know, we have to think about survival, thinking about ourselves, think about, you know, making it and doing what we need to do, right? And sometimes it slips our minds to care about other people. Um, some people are naturally just 24 seven always caring, which is, which is great, but that can also kind of be harmful, right? I used to, I used to care, like always, always thinking about other people, like constantly, like never really thinking about myself. And that got me in a lot of trouble when I was younger because I had people take advantage of me. Um, and so I became very kind of like to myself for a bit. But you know, it's just about having that balance and it's about catching yourself. So I think that's important. Anyways, I ended up spending, uh, I ended up spending double the amount of money, which is amazing because I should be thinking about. I like my cousin would love this, like for her kids. So I ended up getting a bunch of these. I got a couple. Oh, God damn it! I got some for you guys as well. Just comment down below. I will pick a winner. And yeah, I, I got these crunch bars. I wonder if these these were my favorite growing up. Uh, I wonder if they're good. Actually, let's try now. Ew, pretty. Crunch. Hmm. Yeah. What like that? I got a bunch of drinks, which I'm probably not going to be able to finish. Kimchi, Mr. Kimchi, I'm putting this in the fridge. I'll put this in the fridge too. Mmm! I ended up picking up these two so I'm eating chocolate. They're like, coffee's in a freaking bag. What is that all about? No, anyways. Got this boba. Actually, I realized that we do have these in Canada. So, it's only $3.99, which probably comes out to be the same amount in Canadian after exchange. That'll probably be about $5 Canadian. Okay. More drinks. I might save these for when I get home, like this one, because this one will probably be okay, but I'm probably gonna have to drink this beforehand. Sweet potato, hazelnut Kit Kat. That's different, you know? I love seaweed so much. I hope they're good. Some seaweed is really bad. Like, it's not good at all. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. I'm really excited to try these two because they're glass noodle and topoke, and I love Glass noodle and topoki. It's like honestly my favorite. This blue Hawaii sun kiss. Topoki. <laughs> it's in a box, okay? I had to get it. Okay. So that's so far what I got. We're gonna go to Chinatown. I'm gonna wait till Ari gets back to the apartment. And then we're gonna go to Chinatown because I have to explore Chinatown. London should be a separate video. I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, I'll see you guys in a second. Hey guys, okay, so I'm back. <laughs> okay, my question is, I'm in this candy store right now. And the, my burning question is, is the <laughs> Oreo mega stuff more than the double stuff? I don't know, we'll find out, but I'm getting them. And I'm also getting a Wonka bar that is $5.99 in pounds. So in Canadian dollar, that would be around $12 for a Wonka bar, because I'm Wonka. So I'm getting that shit too. <gasps> oh, see, look. Okay, yeah, so wait, maybe it is. Okay, here's the double stuff. Here's the mega, it looks like it's more than a double. So hopefully it is, I just got the mega stuff. They have so many different, like, Pop-Tarts. Whoa, look at all the Pop-Tarts. <laughs> oh, pegs. Oh, Pez, sorry. Hey guys, so sorry. Aria's right, like unimpressed. I'm like, oh my God, this looks so cool. Look what they're doing. I've seen this on like, Instagram and stuff. Them mixing the pearls like this. So we're in Chinatown and I might just get one. <laughs> oh, it's fine. I feel like I just got suckered in, to be honest with you. It's, it's probably just a gimmick. It's probably made no differently, or maybe they are. I don't want to shame them, but. Mm. I feel like I TikTok girl right now. It's actually really, it's pretty good. It's not a coffee. Wow, I got suckered in. I needed a coffee, not bubble tea. Oh, yeah, I really like this. The Chinatown in LA is not, is <laughs> really not that nice. I hate to say it. Chinatown in Toronto is really nice during the summer, but Chinatown London. 
<laughs> it's really nice. I like it. Mm. Chinatown, London. I'm starting to develop a little bit of a London accent actually since I've been here. Everyone talking, I just naturally my soul just wants to embody that entire. <laughs> I'm dead. Mm. Oh, I just see some hot pot. This, um, I was told. Oh, I forgot that. Actually, one of the subscribers told me if I come to Chinatown, there's a specific place she wants me to go to to have some dumplings, but you know, I can't remember where she told me to go. Absolutely, mate. Absolutely. Okay, I really like this. Like, look how lit up and look how nice the pictures are. Like, it actually makes me want to go inside. Sometimes you win some, sometimes you. Oh guys, Chinatown is so nice. Actually, my Uber driver, when I asked, when he told me that there's a Chinatown here, I was like, is it nice? He's like, it's really nice. And honestly, it's really fucking nice. Oh. I just want to take a video. Oh, look. It's a little bakery shop. What is this, like H -mark? So right now I'm at Dumpling Legend and it's comparable to Tai Fung, so I'm super excited for that. But not only that, one of you guys actually told me to come here. Um, I met a chicken wing on the street and she told me that I need to try Dumpling Legend. And I was walking by and I happened to see it. And I'm, so I'm really excited right now to go ahead and try it. I ordered the same things I usually get at Din Tai Fung since um, they're comparing it to it. So yeah, soup dumplings are on their way. Bunch of food is on the way. I'm really exhausted at this point and my face looks disgusting. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to show you guys the food and I think that will be the end of the vlog. And I will see you guys on another day. So high. Oh, bro.